drink or anything? I could use some appy slices, actually, <laughs> if you wouldn't mind. And a little peanut butter to dip them in? Fucking of course I want peanut butter, Clint! to be is just smart, but as it turned out, I'm not enough. I've always watched the others answering the questions, as it was the easiest thing they've ever heard, while I just looked in front of me with blame and hate for why my brain is completely empty. All I would say if I was a little bitch that gives up, good thing I'm urge to talk to you and then I remember 
that you're a different person now, and so am I. But it just hurts because I sometimes wonder if we ever think of each other at the same time. It hurts. I miss you. something else you don't know about me. You just hurt my feelings. What did I do? I opened up and shared something deeply upsetting to me, and you treated it as if it were nothing. I, I didn't think it was a big deal. It is to me. That's the point. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, you got a mark. Five mistakes and you're out. Out? Like... Yes, exactly. Two plus two. Brianna, what's the answer? Um... I can't answer it. I don't want to make a mistake. I know the answer. It's three. <laughs> that was Timmy's fifth mistake. Five mistakes and you're out. Brianna, hold this. What is wrong with you? Why did you give that to me to hold when I wasn't ready? Chill out. It's no big deal. No, I can't chill out. I have two marks now. Three more and I'm out. Giving her that to hold was a mistake. What? How is that a mistake? Was it a mistake? Brianna, if you agree, I'll take away one of your marks. 
I have absolutely no idea why I still have this item in my shop, but nobody has bought one since December until the other day. I honestly forgot that it was in my shop and available for anyone to purchase at any time that they wanted, even though I have no idea why anyone would want to buy this monstrosity. Like, if you guys have seen any of my other works before, you know that I'm a good artist and that I can actually draw and paint and stuff. But the reason to why I put this little thing in my store is because it's not supposed to be viewed as art. It's supposed to be viewed as what is that and why would you pay money for it. It's supposed to be a cute, funny, little quirky thing that you put in your house and when people come over, they look at it and be like, Oh, what is that? Did your child make that? Or someone else's child, they don't have children, and no, I bought it from an actual artist who went to art school. Yes, I went to art school, and out of those four years, this is what I came up with. I hope you guys like it. This artist is activating his sculpture. Okay, so he poked a hole on the bottom bucket, right? Wait, what? What? Am I missing something? Okay, so he dropped it. And then what else? Ain't no way, bro. These guys have to be NPCs. There's no way to call in this art. Like, you can't tell me this is not used to launder money. There's no way, bro. Let me look up this guy's art. Bro, it's literally buckets with umbrella. Am I losing my mind, bro? Like, what? You're telling me I could have been a millionaire when I was a kid. Come on now. I know people are going to say art is not what you see. It's all about how you feel. Okay, Jessica, tell me exactly what you feel when you look at this picture. I'm about to switch my profession. You know what? Give me a minute real quick. Hold on. Y'all want to see art? The first Quaker Oats wearing the silky. Come on now. Give me my 50 million right now. 